Despite the common misconception that a scheme such as this is only relevant for larger organisations, David Chapman and his colleagues have had success working with businesses of all sizes right across the sectors. A good example is of a, a local baker um, in Orkney. We matched him with the Agronomy Institute up in Orkney um, and a new product development specialist um, in Murray. So three people working in completely separate parts of the Highlands. We actually um, funded um, a small feasibility type project for them um, directly within the project. As a result of that, they, they were able to work together um, and the bakery was, was able to produce um, a number of, of new product ideas um, and develop new products that they were able to launch onto the market. Um, and as a result of that project, they've actually now been able to approach um, the, the high regional office to get uh, continued funding for a new facility um, within Orkney. The main um, kind of message is for the, the businesses, you know, to look at their local college or, th or the university as a business resource. Um, and whereas they may s see the academic um, community as kind of sitting in their ivory towers doing these, this cutting edge research, um, that, that's not always the case. Um, you know, so to get in touch with us and we can kind of broker these meetings and let them get access, I suppose, to, to expertise um, that they might not have. Because quite a lot of the businesses that we are working with, you know, have got great ideas, but they might not have the time, um, the money, the resources or the expertise um, to bring those ideas to fruition. So, you know, that's where we can help find um, that expertise or, or funding that, that can help them develop the, the project and the business as a whole. Another route to take when looking to tap into academia's brightest minds is through a knowledge transfer partnership. KTPs exist to facilitate partnerships between businesses and academic institutions, as explained in more detail by John McKenzie from Highlands and Islands Enterprise. Knowledge transfer partnerships are a key part of our um, knowledge transfer strategy in the Highlands and Islands, which we um, feel is a key enabler for um, growing the region and developing innovation, entrepreneurship. The link between um, businesses and academia, for example, is seen not just in Scotland and the UK but throughout the world as one of the key drivers in the most successful economies of the world. Um, KTP, Knowledge Transfer Partnerships, have been um, around for the last sort of 30 years plus um, and basically um, they are a programme where a recent graduate from a, an academic institute will work on a specific project um, within a company for a, a two to three year period. Um, this, this programme is funded by the Technology Strategy Board um, and um, is 60% of the costs are met by um, the TSB, which means the company will have to find about 40% of the costs equating to between 19 to 22k per annum, um, judging on the actual size of the company. Um, this has proved extremely successful um, over the years um, with the actual investment for the com company on the KTB programme um, providing returns tenfold to that amount in terms of the success of the project leading to real change and transformation within that organisation or them basically launching a new product or being able to win business that they weren't able to do before. Um, difference maybe between KTP and a student placement programme which some people get slightly confused about is the fact that you're not just working with the graduate you're working with that academic associate so they will have um, a member of the university working with the graduate and the company on the particular project there will also be um, an independent KTP person there to to manage and monitor the progress of the both the company and of the associate and of so that basically all are benefiting from from the partnership one really good example is SureClean in Allness, the industrial cleaning company, um, does a lot of work on the offshore industry. They are currently on their fourth um, KTP um, with the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen. Um, they've found this extremely successful. Basically, it's formed quite a, a close working relationship between um, SureClean and um, RGU and um, it really has helped that company grow over the last three to four years and is probably the, the biggest success story in terms of the sheer numbers of KTPs that they've, they've been involved with. As well as KTPs, businesses may also benefit by joining a knowledge transfer network. Knowledge transfer network is basically a network of companies and organisations, uh, academia, 
private sector and public sector companies um, working together on specific fields. So the, rec the recent one is energy, which could be really important to the Highlands and Islands. Um, they're funded by the Technology Strategy Board and it gives companies access to knowledge transfer with people within that network because they've got connections all over the world. It also gives them access to high quality market research, access to information in terms of funding opportunities um, and generally will help develop the links they have if they're interested in a particular field of, of work. Um, so that can be um, basically no cost or companies can actually get together and form their own KTN which, and apply to the K uh, Technology Strategy Board for funding to do that. Whichever route you decide to take, the knowledge transfer process can help your business grow to a whole new level. Whether it's through developing new products, services, or simply finding a more efficient way of working. For more information on knowledge transfer and the schemes we've heard about in this podcast, make sure to visit these websites. Thanks for watching.